Hey guys, this is Tom from If This Car Could Talk, an up and coming YouTube channel where we feature unique stories that the owners share about their vehicles. After all, I think most of us go to car shows to see cool cars, but also to meet friends, old and new, and to swap stories. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. This week's feature car belongs to Ken and Denise Begg and is a full-fledged member of Virgil Exner's Forward Sweep line of cars that debuted the first year as this car. As we were taking the photos, a lady that was walking by declared the car to be one hot tamale baby. Check it out and I'm sure you'll agree. Now let's go for a ride. Hello, my name is Ken Begg, I live in Levine, Arizona and I have a 1955 Plymouth Savoy. My wife and I went on an anniversary trip to Lake Havasu and um, we're driving around and we see some old cars and um, up on the hill. So we drove up there and looked at it and we seen this old car up there. There's a, it's a, it's, it was like an, a consignment museum looking place. And we went, walked around and looked. He had a 39 Dodge, uh, 36 Dodge humpback van with the 392 in it. Beautiful car. Um, several real, real nice cars. And this, the Savoy, we actually just walked by it when we walked in. We didn't, I didn't, it didn't catch my attention like the purple one did. So when we were getting ready to leave, we walked out and we noticed it. And just as soon as we looked at it, as soon as we started, we just fell in love with it. So we went ahead and we brought it home with us. And this was in Lake Havasu. And we didn't know anything about the car at that point. So we, we went back with our car trailer and brought it home. And we got a home, we're tinkering with it and, and just driving it around and, and, and taking it to car shows. And we realized that it's really a very dependable car. We've driven it up north several times, west several times. So not afraid to drive it anywhere. We were at a car show one time and um, a, a gentleman and his wife walked up to us and they says, we remember your, this car at the last car show. We took a picture of, on the back of the car, it says, Grand Falls, South Dakota, um, Trinda dealership. And it was on the car when we got it. We didn't take it off. We didn't, I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Anyways, the couple says that they took a picture of that and sent it to their uncle. And their uncle actually used to work at that very, very dealership. And when they sent him the pictures of the car, he remembers the car because he drove it when he was 16 years old because he was the detailer there at the dealership. It was actually his, his dad's dealership. And um, um, I think his name was John. I'm not real sure. I think his name was John. I've talked to him a couple of times. Um, he's not really a car guy any longer, but um, he, he moved from South Dakota because it was too cold for him. So he moved to the frigid airs of Colorado so we've, like I said, we've driven the car around several times. We would, uh, the only upgrade we would, upgrades we would like to do to the car was probably put disc brakes on it. Um, the old, the old school brakes just aren't the same as they used to be. Um, maybe aftermarket air conditioning. This car is a standard. It's a, a, a 260 V8 three-speed on the column. Um, my wife and I have talked about converting it to an automatic, and they made automatic in that years, in those years. So we, we found one, we purchased it, brought it home, and it turned out to be a, also a standard. So it has an overdrive though. So we're thinking we'll put that into that car, make it a nice highway car. This is pretty much, they, that's pretty much the story of the car that we have. The car was a gentleman named Monty. He bought the car in 1968 for $65. He completely restored it in 68 and later. And the way you see it right now is what's the original 68 registration. It's just been kept that well. Mostly indoors, all of its life. Monty, he passed away before before we got, before, what, his wife is still alive. And from what I understand, she's still alive. And when we purchased the car, that money actually went to her. Of course, they take their cut. Yeah, when we did, when we were getting ready to do the title, there was actually a little bit of a problem because she forgot to send the death certificate with the title. So that was kind of, that was that was fun, it was interesting. So we got to know a little bit more about her. So the car was originally black and red. 
and where the red, white is on the car, it was red at that point. The interior has been, of course, reversed. Where, where the red is was white and vice versa. When he, restore, when he restored it, he brought it back to his, his taste, which was nice. I think it looks better white and red than it did black and red. Um, it, oh, it did have this, it is a Savoy, but whoever ordered the car new ordered it with Belvedere or Chrome. They just, they really liked the Chrome on the car. And I have to agree, it looks nicer. When, it's funny, when we got the car, it had black dice in it on the mirrors. My wife said, we can't have that, there's no black on the car. So she, she actually shopped around, went on the internet, and then got red dice just for her car. She drives the car more. She enjoys the car more, because um, we also we have a couple other cars. We have a 69 Charger, I drive it, and she drives the Savoy to car shows. So she gets a real kick out of that, because all the girls pull, run up, this is yours, this is yours, yes. So she gets a kick out of that. What a great car this 55 Plymouth is. It got lots of admiring looks, and people are very drawn to it. The history of this car is one I think you'll find very interesting, so watch for it on Thursday. My name's Tom, and I appreciate you allowing me to bring you these cool cars, to meet their owners, and to hear their stories. Now my wife Dana and I are posting two videos per week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, hit that free subscribe button and the thumbs up icon too. If you have a minute, we'd love to hear from you about the channel. See you soon and be careful out there.